welcome back to my channel. It has been, what, about a week? It feels like it's been so long. I miss you guys. Today I am going to be doing a drugstore only full face glam. I wasn't really planning on going for a full glam look with glitter and all of that because that's not really something that I'm into, uh, glitter per se. But I did have a lot of you guys asking for it on Snapchat. A lot of you guys wanted like a glitter glam type of look with drugstore products. I did my best by finding the top best drugstore products that I could use for a full face glam um, tutorial, which I think it came out rather well. A lot of these products will probably end up using way more than the products I'm used to using. It's so funny because like a lot of times, and I've stressed this to you guys before in other videos, you do not need to spend a lot of money to do your makeup. You'll be surprised how much makeup you can find at a 99 cent store, a swap meet, drugstores, Walgreens, Walmarts, anywhere that they sell makeup, I promise you guys, some of it is actually really, really good. So keep that in mind next time you guys are makeup shopping. So a lot of these products I really did enjoy. Um, I actually can't say one bad thing about any of the products that I have. Disclaimer, the only thing that I did not have that was um, a drugstore, or sorry, not a drugstore product, was my highlight. Um, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills kit only because I tried finding a really good one out there. I knew that the ones that I found were not gonna be good. I tried swatching stuff and it just did not come out like pretty at all whatsoever. So I was like, you know what, I'll do everything Everything else drugstore, but I will, um, I guess, just use one of my palettes that I have here at home. I'm sorry. So, if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. First things first, I'm the realist. No, I'm just kidding. I already prepped my eyes, you guys, just with the concealer that I used under my eyes for today. And then I'm going to go in starting with the brows first. I'm using the Ardell in Medium Brown. This is going to be a gel pomade type of um, product. I love the brush that comes with it with the spoolie and the small brush on the other side. So as I'm going in, you guys, just know that I have used the Anastasia um, gel pomade before, so this is something that you guys can buy um, that is very, very similar and half the cost. I want to say that it cost me about eight dollars and I think the one by Anastasia is 21 I do believe but the product was amazing my brows came out just as good as if I would use any high-end product Next, we're going to go in with the Maybelline Color Tattoo. Um, it is a crayon in the uh, color Barely Beige. You guys, this stick is amazing. Oh my god, I love cream eyeshadows to begin with, but the fact that it's in a stick just makes things so much easier. Um, super easy to blend, very creamy, very smooth. But this color, you guys, when I'm going in with it, don't think that I'm just trying to get like a perfect application. This is just a base color for us to put the glitter on top of. So keep that in mind when you're going in. It will be covered with glitter when we're all done. Next, we're gonna be going in with this Prism Eyeshadow by e.l.f. It is a wonderful, natural, like nude palette. And I'm gonna be taking the darkest, it's almost like a topaz color, there's no name to it, I'm sorry. And I'm taking this further into the crease uh, from the inner corner and taking that to the outer corner. For the glitter, I'm gonna be using the Photo Ready Eye Art by Revlon. It is a dual-sided um, glitter art. <laughs> we are just gonna be using the glitter side only for this tutorial. I did wanna show you guys the brush. I was hoping it was gonna be loose glitter. Unfortunately, I opened the package and it was um, more of like a wet feel to it. So that's not really what I was looking for, but it did still do the trick. So I'm just packing this onto the lid. We wanna make sure that we cover the entire cream eyeshadow that we placed before this. So the entire lid and just on that outer wing. The reason why I do not like wet glitter is because you have to let it dry. So I'm gonna move on to the face while this is drying and we will get back to this later. Let's go ahead and start the face by applying a primer. So I am using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. It's a light infusing primer. This is gonna give radiance to the face and really, really nice and bright effect, which I absolutely love. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over my face, on my nose, my forehead, my chin, all that good stuff. Then we're going to be using the True Match. I am using the color W6. I've been wanting to use this foundation, you guys, for the longest. I've heard such good things about it. And after this, I can definitely agree with everyone when I say it is freaking amazing. Amazing. I am obsessed with it now. I am probably going to be using this for a good while. Um, beats any of the foundations that I've used from any uh, big luxury name brand. Also, I'm going to be using the Age Rewind, another product that I've heard really good things about, and now I understand why. This product does not move, you guys. You put it in one spot, it does not budge, and it stays all freaking day. So I'm just going with the little damp beauty blender, just pushing it into my skin, but this isn't one of those smooth, like creamy, blendy, where it just gets all over your face kind of concealers. It will stay in one spot and stay there all day and all night. For my contour, you guys already know I'm using my LA Pro Girl, uh, Pro Conceal, I'm sorry. And this is also one of my favorite products to contour with. Um, I mentioned this in another video. I got this at a swap meet. I believe it was like three bucks or something like that. Very affordable, very cheap. And clearly, by the size of this nose, it definitely gets the contour job done. Alright guys, I know at the beginning of the video I said that I loved everything. I did love it. It just has a weird smell to it. It's the Loose Powder. It's a finishing powder by um, CoverGirl. I got it in the color Fair because I did want it to be bright. It just has the funkiest smell to it. I'm like, what is that product? Like, what ingredient is it that's making it smell like this? Other than that, I do love it. It kept my makeup on all day. Now this bad boy, I have had my eyes on this one for a while. It's the NYX, it is a baked blush illuminator, wow, can I talk? It's a baked blush illuminator and bronzer all in one in the color Sugar Mama. And then we are going to just slightly dab our way into this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in that glow, just to add a little bit of highlight to the face. So I have also wanted to use this product for a while now. It is the um, NYX liner, and it's a matte liner. Anytime you guys are using a liner over um, glitter, it does come off a little funky, so just keep that in mind when you guys are going over it and doing these looks for yourself at home. Then I'm going to go in with that same topaz color that we used for our crease and just add that to our bottom um, lashes. Throw on some mascara. And we are ready for falsies. So I use, I think it's called Cherry Blossom. I got a whole bunch of different kinds of um, lashes at the swap meet. They're like $1.75 and girl, they are bomb. Last but certainly not least is the NYX Butter Gloss. Uh, this one is in the color Tiramisu. Beautiful, natural, neutral color. If you guys are looking for a nice nude color, this is it. I'm obsessed with butter glosses from NYX, so if you guys have not tried them, go try them. Those and these soft matte creams. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I am obsessed with the new products that I got from the drugstore, and I cannot wait for you guys to go out, buy them, and try them yourselves. I would love to see you guys recreate this look as well. If you guys do end up recreating this look on Instagram, make sure that you guys hashtag Lisette Cornejo so that I can go take a look at some of your recreations. And if you guys feel more comfortable sending me a Snapchat, you guys know I'm always here to say hello. Pretty much respond to almost everybody. Make sure that you guys do share, like, comment, subscribe. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers, you guys. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until my next video, I will see you guys soon. Mwah.